everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am starving and very, very excited today. I'm going for overall victory number 1106. Still trying to get used to that number. That means I do too many food challenges. But yeah, I am here for the first time in the Firmlin of Scotland, which is part of the fight area. Lots of people here, much appreciated. So we're here in Dunfermline. We are all here at the Elizabethan, and I'm taking on their undefeated Lizzie Scottish Breakfast Challenge. Now, lots of people have tried this thing. I think like over 40 people. Nobody's been able to finish. I'm hoping to become the first. I've got only 45 minutes to just shut up and eat. I'm most thankful that there's 10 slices of bread, but really there's 10 halves. So there's five slices of bread. We've got 10 rashers of bacon here, 10 Lauren sausages, 10 other sausages, which are locally sourced. We've got 10 scrambled eggs. There are 10 hash browns. I love Scottish, all the hash browns around here. And then we've got a whole bunch of healthy vegetables with this fry up. We've got 10 things of mushrooms, and then we do have 10 tomato slices or five full tomatoes. We've got pretty much 800 grams of baked beans. And then this is optional. I've got most of the ketchup in Scotland, which I'm gonna make Katina proud by having some of this. And then this coffee here, this black Americano, that is required too. If we really dominate, might chug a beer at the end like yesterday at the plow, but we'll see. 45 minutes, if I fail, it's only gonna be 30 quid, which is actually a pretty good deal for all of this food. I will not get a sweet t-shirt if I win, but I will of course get the meal free, and I will be the very first person on the coveted Wall of Fame here at the Elizabethan in Dunfermline. Let's get this challenge started. Oh, I dominated that plow Scottish breakfast challenge yesterday in Stenhouse Muir of Larbert. But yeah, this is like one and a half to two times the size of that, I think. We've got 45 minutes, I think I can do it. Big thank you to John and his staff who cooked all this up. Everybody here with the Elizabethan, but let's dominate Lizzie. One, two, three, boom. All right, starting with sausages. Oh, oh. Somebody has to get the message out. We're just mixing all this food together. It is great so far. Three minutes, 17 seconds in. Yeah, once I'm done with all these sausages, I'll be a lot more confident. This ketchup is good. I've said this before, I won't lie. Ketchup is ketchup. I'm eating fast because there's a quick time limit, but also because, as my mom calls him, the Canadian hottie is here. Mr. Model versus Food, Joel Hansen is here with our friend Scott. So, ooh, gotta eat fast since they're here. I think that was the last bit of Lauren sausage, which is very, very exciting. Delicious, but those were big pieces of sausage. I know I hear that all the time. 7.45 in. Right under nine minutes in, three more things of hash brown. Three favorite things definitely about all the breakfasts over in this region is that the hash browns are so good, the uh, sausage is so good, and then I do enjoy baked beans with breakfast. So I think we're gonna get it. And speaking of eating fast, and speaking of mushrooms, Chef John said that Adam Beard meets food contact with him a couple days ago. 
I'm gonna set a quick time for him to try to beat this. This is on his radar now. But in honor of him, let's eat some mushrooms. Delish. The problem is this Katina won't let me have any days off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time I do a food challenge, it's like a new purse or a new set of shoes for her. <laughs> Twelve and a half minutes in. Delicious breakfast so far. I usually do sandwiches, but I don't think that's in my best interest today. We don't have fried eggs, we have scrambled eggs. It'll be a, a little bit awkward. So I'm gonna use the beans to help get all this bacon down. And then I think we're gonna get it, we'll see. I've ever gotten was in Barton upon Trent uh, years ago. It was four foot long breakfast sandwiches, and all four pieces of bread were loaded with the juices from the tomatoes and the beans. And it took me eight cans of Diet Coke to get the bread down. It was one of my favorite tasting challenges. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday's challenge. I'm glad they're not in today's. There would have been 10 of them, but Tati scones are uh, delicious here in Scotland. Be sure to get some if you're ever around. And I will say, Katina, for the first time tonight, is getting her first deep fried Mars bar. I'm pumped. There we go. It is 21 minutes, 47 seconds. I just finished off the beans. We still have half the time limit left to finish the 10 halves of bread and then the 10 scrambled eggs. I am not really weird, so I don't need ketchup on my eggs, so I'm gonna put that off to the side. Hater. But I will drink this coffee because I learned in Ireland not to drink coffee at the very end. I knew when I was doing that that that, that was a very stupid idea. Oh, it's a lot easier to chug beer than it is to chug coffee. I almost gagged on that uh, Tony's Breakfast Challenge. Done with the coffee. Just to make sure we leave no doubt, eating the uh, shortbread cookies. All right, let's do this. Let's become the first winner of the Lizzie Challenge. All right, Susie has saved the day. Thus, Susie brought me a Diet Coke, so thank you to her. 24 minutes, 45 seconds in, we're gonna get this. Woo! Yeah! Seconds in. We buns. Ooh. I told everybody in the audience this wasn't going to take 15 minutes. Oh, slow and steady wins the race. Let's go, Randy. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 31 minutes. We got this. Remember, this challenge is undefeated for a reason. Oh, it's like over eight pounds with the beans and everything. But I think as long as I have 10 minutes to finish the bread, I got it. Good work, she's smart. Oh, a couple deep breaths. I wonder why I'm doing this. 
and then we'll get to work. While giving myself a break, I'm gonna offer tips. We're 39 minutes in, if you wanna try this challenge, whether you wanna get fry bread or this bread, definitely if you get this bread, add butter to it, just so it can soak in. You can also make substitutions. You just gotta to talk to the restaurant and, and work it out together. But uh, I think we're gonna get it. I've got to give credit to myself for uh, drinking that coffee early on. If I tried to do it around right now, or if I tried to eat all the beans at the end, it might not have gone well. But we are the first winner. We have 45 minutes. The record to beat now, 43 minutes and 28 seconds. There wasn't any portion of that that I didn't like. Everything was great. So big thank you to everybody here with the Elizabethan and Dunfermline of Scotland, which is in the Fife area. And thanks to you guys all for your support. There were lots of people here as you've seen in all the crowd shots, which is much appreciated. Always great to get here to the Fife region of Scotland. For me, it was overall victory number 1106. Just got a few more left in Scotland before we head south into England and Wales. But for winning, I will get the 30 quid meal for free. I will not get a sweet t-shirt, but I will be the very first person with my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame here at the Elizabethan for beating their massive Lizzie Scottish Breakfast Challenge. Tomorrow we've got a big burger challenge coming up east of Edinburgh in North Berwick. Over 1,500 people have tried and failed it with only seven winners. Hopefully Katina and I will be the next two, but that video is coming up next. Thank you guys for watching.